Hello YouTube, Tim here. I've got my five samples of glued up PVC squares with the same pleather on the front. The only difference between them is the way that I glued them down. Now what we're going to do is make a little test of this. I'm going to try and rip them off. Uh, hopefully each of them will have something that I can get some purchase on and then I'm just going to try and pull it off. We'll see how much pleather remains, if I'm able to do it at all, and so on and so forth. Now, I know for some of them you can probably tell which glue is used. This is pretty obviously the wood glue. But other than that, it's pretty darn hard to tell which one was which. So I'm only going to reveal the results of which, which one was on which uh, square, which type of glue is used on which one after I'm all done. Hopefully that will add a little drama to this. I'm trying to make it a little bit more exciting. Let's start down here at the bottom left. Okay, there's a good bit of material remaining, not too much. I think if some more glue had been used, that might have worked out, but uh, it was definitely adhering. It, it didn't want to come off, I had to rip, but it came off pretty easily. Okay, this next one. Let's try this. Okay, this one I actually labeled both sides, so let's just cover that up. <laughs> Anyway, it's that was, again, strong. Didn't seem like it wanted to come off on its own, but it did come off. This one here. Even stronger. This ripped off about half of the material, and I think likewise I labeled this one, so let's just cover that up. That one was even stronger, by far the hardest to rip off. So all of these three have worked. Let me just see if that will go back on. Oh, yeah, look at that. That actually go back on and adhere again. Moving on to this one. Wow. I gotta say, this is even harder than the, the last one. Holy crikey. So I'm trying not to curse on the camera. This is a family-friendly production. I think I can get that off, but it's really on there. Wow. Yay. Okay, jeez. Okay, that was, that was by far the most difficult. So far, this has been completely linear. E fairly easy. Harder. Hard. Very hard. Hardest. That was really hard. And now let's see what this last one is like. That was the easiest by far. Wow. It adhered nicely, looked good, but popped right off. All of these surfaces had been roughed up a little bit. So let me just order it. And then I'll reveal which was which. The weakest obviously was the Type Bond 2 PVA wood glue. Unfortunately, that just did not work. Maybe if I sanded it up more, it would. And for all intents and purposes, that might adhere, but I have no confidence in its ability to adhere to PVC. That almost, to a point, replicates my experience with it when I attempted to put the rawhide on it. It just pops right off. There's no adhesion whatsoever. It didn't even try and hold it on. This one, which adhered fine, it seemed like it would work was the liquid Loctite. I think if I use a lot more Loctite, see I just dabbled it on, I put on streaks, and then I just put on some big dabbles. A lot of that soaked right into the material, and I think if I had smoothly and evenly covered this whole surface, it would have worked really well. But that's an awful lot of Loctite. That stuff's not cheap. I don't want to spend a whole dollar or two uh, worth of glue for every several square inches of bow material, that's ridiculous. It did adhere, it ripped off quite a lot of material there, but uh, ultimately not as big a success as I would have hoped. This one is probably the first one that I can recommend. And even here after I've ripped it off, it works fairly well. This is the Loctite Multi-Purpose Spray. It's repositionable, so like the, the uh, bottle says, you should be able to pull it up and Put it right back down, and there it is. Almost good as new. Almost as strong as it was when I started. So 
So again, that's the Loctite multi-purpose spray. Look at that, it has a nice even stick film. The next one was, again, a Loctite spray. This is the Loctite High Strength Spray. I called it the Strong Spray, but it's high strength. It's really only medium strength as far as the Loctite sprays go. And that was phenomenally strong. It ripped off a lot of the backing material, or it appears to have... Oh, actually, no. That's none of the backing material ripped off. That's actually adhesive that ripped off of this material onto here. So, nevertheless, it was tremendously strong. That was really hard to get off. Really, really hard to get off. But by far, far and away, the winner in terms of strength here, hot glue. And if you'll note, I just put down strips. I didn't even make any particular effort to go ahead and like I said, I, I've mentioned this before, the real way to, to get a beautiful, smooth surface would be to use liquid hot glue and then spread it on with a palette knife or something like that. Then you could have one film, uh, a nice, thin, even layer. That would be perfect. But the hot glue just takes the cake. Nothing here competed with it. For ease of use, the Loctite multipurpose and strong spray. The, strong, the uh, high strength spray I thought was the easiest to use by far. The hot glue, if you've got the time and patience to apply it, you could coat the entire bow in a thin film of hot glue, hit it with your heat gun to melt it, and then just go ahead and apply the leather as you need. That would work great. That probably would work, but it's more time consuming. But once you do it, that leather is pretty much never coming off. You can rest assured of that. I hope this has been at least somewhat interesting. I was trying to be generous in my application of glues. I used more Loctite than I would have liked but less than obviously was needed. All of the others, I just used the recommended amounts, or in the case of tight bond, I just dolloped on a, a bit and just rubbed it around until it was in nice firm contact, squeezed it down. So go take a look if you're wondering how I applied them at the previous video. I'll link to that here in the upper left-hand corner. You can go take a look at that. If you want to look at other experiments, that's up here in the upper right-hand corner. And if you like the sort of thing that I'm doing here, if you think this was interesting and you want to see more stuff, Go click the subscribe button, and I'd really appreciate it. I love doing stuff like this for you guys, and I hope this was fun and interesting. Check back in again soon.